are. <coughs> All right. Um, so first off, um, Madison setting a career high in blocks today. Um, just talk about what the game plan was with Denver coming in with their attackers. They had some size up front there and, and just being able to get your hands up. Yeah, um, I think coming in today we knew they had a lot of good attackers so that we'd have to more read and really focus on staying still and blocking wherever the ball is going. And I think that we did a really good job of that. And it helps when I have pin blockers who have beautiful setup. All I have to do is close to them. So it makes it really easy. <coughs> All right, and then Lolo tying a career high in digs today. Um, just talk about um, why maybe you maybe felt a bit more comfortable defensively tonight. Yeah, I mean, I personally consider Denver one of our rivals, and I was really excited to play them. But I think I just really had the mentality of dig or die. We play a drill in practices called that, and it's just all out, nothing gets the floor. And I think that was just something that really um, was a main focus for me this game. So it just kind of came out and – Never stopped, so. Yep. Yep, and Elizabeth, um, after Thursday, it seemed like um, Coach may maybe was like, oh, it was a choppy game. It seemed like you guys really got on the flow of things after the first set there. Just talk about maybe what the team was doing differently opposed to Thursday night. Definitely. I think we came out with a lot more confidence tonight and just um, how we approached um, this match. <laughs> I think it took us a little bit to get comfortable um, today, but I think once we did, we kind of went out and <clears> – <throat> Ran with it. Yep, and then a similar question for you, Lolo. Just after that first set, and you may even in the fourth set, as Denver makes their run to tie the game, just talk about the confidence the team had to really finish things off there at the end. Yeah, I think um, once they started making a little bit more runs, we had to really stay composed. Um, our main focus was to not stress out and not focus on what they were doing, but focus back onto our side of the court and what we needed to work on and what we needed to fix. And I think that really calms us down and allows us to fine tune the things that we need to work on and just push till the end. So. Yep. And then Elizabeth, what were the challenges of Denver's block tonight? Um, they're a very good blocking team. And um, I think when we started finding more of a rhythm in our um, attacking and how we are maybe getting our feet to the ball, it started to get a little bit better. And Lolo on the backside covering a little bit harder or just her being behind us, giving us the confidence to still <laughs> take big swings um, was a huge part of, I think, our success. But, yeah, Denver is a very good blocking team, and we knew that going in. Yeah, but then Madison, just it seemed like um, you and, and others on the blocking line were much more active in today's game. Was that part of the game plan? Um, I guess uh, it wasn't really part of the game plan going in, but um, when there's like tight passes and like, there's overpasses on the other side, um, we know that we have to be involved and that's our job to deal with the balls right there at the plane of the net. So I think we did a really good job with that. Yeah, and just for any three of you, um, Omaha and Denver and you guys are three of the best teams in the conference. Just talk about what it means to sweep this weekend. Um, I think it was really good that we started out with these teams because – it showed us that we need to start at our highest level and we couldn't allow ourselves to back down to a certain playing standard. And um, I think it just really pushed us to play our best volleyball right from the start and roll with it and not let up from there. So I was really excited to start with them. I definitely agree. I think that going into the next couple weeks of conference play, this will give us a lot of confidence and just have a good grounding and starting conference. And we're excited with where we're at. Yeah, this team, I think we have so much potential, and we want to compete. We want the hard matches. So starting with two really great teams at home was just what we wanted. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I, I think tonight was another uh, gritty match. Um, we knew, obviously, going into it, we were going to have to play at a high level. Um, and I felt like we kind of came – I think that happened in waves. You know, we had moments where we felt like we were really rolling – um, that we had moments where I felt like we kind of backed off just a little bit, and um, they were able to take advantage of some of those and create their own runs. Um, I think most people saw it, but I think it was kind of a game of runs. Um, we'd make a run, they'd make a run. I felt like every time we got kind of that three or four point um, spread, something happened, and they were able to bring, uh, pull back in within one. But that's what's going to happen when you play good teams. And I think there was some frustration at times with our players um, of not being able to get into a really good rhythm. But when you're playing good teams, that, that's going to happen. So I think in some ways we got better through that. Um, as the match went on, I felt like we handled it a little bit better. Um, I think there were a couple people especially that kind of stepped up in some of those moments towards the end and found ways to make plays, even if it wasn't always perfect, even if it wasn't like the cleanest of, of attacks 
faster swings. I just felt like we were able to embrace that a little bit more. Um, Lola was phenomenal, and based on these updated stats, she did hit her career high at 34, um, and I, she had 22 after the first two sets. So she was all over the place. I felt like she was anchoring our defense, and I mean, in some ways, probably frustrating their attackers. Um, and made them do some things that maybe they didn't want to, which probably in some ways aided in then our blocking number as well. Um, so to finish with 19, 19 blocks and then oh, 101 digs, um, again, updated stats here, uh, that's incredible. Uh, and I do think our defense, both on the back line and up at the net, probably secured that win for us. All right, and then and then just Denver making that run to tie things at 19 in the fourth set. Um, I know against Omaha, maybe the finishing wasn't as crisp, but just uh, did you feel like that was a crisper finish from your team tonight? Um, I mean, not in set four. I, I thought set three, yes. I felt like we kind of got to that middle of the, the set and kind of took off and didn't really look back. Um, in set four, I felt like they made the, the one or two big runs in the middle um, when we were up big. And um, I, I just think it just goes to show you're never up enough. You know, you're, uh, it, it's constantly that battle of um, for us going 1-0 and in each point, in each game, and then each match. So um, I think it's something their team has to get better at, you know, obviously as the season goes. But this weekend, that's two tough matches to play um, on Thursday and Saturday. And um, to come away 2-0 and um, off this weekend, I'm really happy with. I know our team is really happy with. And I think going into, obviously, our next match on Tuesday, it's another quick turnaround. So um, we've got to rest, recover, get ready. Um, for that next match, but I, they really gritted that one out, and again, really happy to see them play at that level. And and do you think just the fact that Lolo did set her career highs contributed to the fact that it was a much cleaner game from you guys tonight? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think when somebody's playing such high-level defense like that, it, one, I think defense is contagious, and I, I do think that shows with the fact that we had a, over 100 team digs, um, and I, I think, two, it just allowed people to maybe feel a little bit comfortable taking away the space they were supposed to. They didn't feel like they had to get into maybe her area as much um, because she was digging everything. So I, I do think it allows people people to kind of sit back and um, I think just trust that obviously she's doing her job but I think it also ups the standard a little bit of I've got to do that too um, and we had a couple other people you know Cameron Ferris had 17 I don't know where that ranks necessarily in, in her career high but um, I think for for her that was really good I thought Alina Wolf probably had her best match um, since she's been here as a coyote and uh, on the right in the right back area and that was huge for us she came up with some really big digs and coverage plays and um, you know a, a coverage ball doesn't count as a dig so that, that does, you can just think about how many more touches we are actually getting on that. Um, and I, I think it was huge for us. Yeah, and then uh, was the game plan to have a more active block against the size of uh, Denver's attackers tonight? No, I mean, I think for, for us with our block, we constantly just talk, talk about taking away the space that they're supposed to. And um, I felt like our blockers got better at that as the match went on. Um, and I believe... Um, in one of the sets, we had a, a, a decent amount of, yeah, we had seven blocks in set three. Um, and I think that's when you really started to see us, again, take away the space we're supposed to, expect that ball to hit our hands, we were able to take advantage of those a little bit more. But then they were doing different things, maybe had a tip roll shot um, because of the fact that we were playing so well at the net. Uh, and then we were able to dig on the back end and transition out of it. So, I mean, they all go, every, every skill just goes hand in hand. But I don't think it was necessarily a game plan. It was just something that we knew we had to be prepared for. Yep, yep. And then just what in on Thursday, I know you were saying we need to play more together. In what ways did your team play more together tonight? Um, I felt like we handled the runs a little bit better. I don't feel like it stressed us out as much. Um, you know, I, I felt like there was a little, like you could see us tense up a little bit, but I think there was just that that trust within each other that we are going to make a play on the back end. And, um, you know, and we did get those, you know, the, the ball back, um, maybe after a run that they made, um, we were able to, um, I think, really push again. Like, I, I just didn't feel like the, the fear crept in as much. Um, and, I mean, I, I think the things that we have to remember, and even for me as a coach, I had to remember at times too, is good teams are going to make you look like you're struggling sometimes, you know, and we, we did just play based on preseason standards, right, two of the top teams in the conference, and when that happens, when we play those matches, it might not always be the cleanest match because both teams are able to slow different things down and they have different game plans, and we've got to figure out what those are and make adjustments. So I, I think even for me, it's probably good to remember that we're not always going to 
look great. You know, there's going to be times that we have to grit out a win, that we have to just be the tougher team or outwork somebody. Um, and I think in these two matches anyway, we were able to do that on the back end. Yep, and, and, then, uh, <coughs> and then just with the winning streak at 13 <coughs> now, uh, is there, would you say that adds a little bit of pressure to like when maybe a team might be making a run, just being like, hey, hey, let's let's keep this going? No, I, I, I really don't. I, I get where that could come from, but I think for us, our mentality has always been one and all, um, and that's not changing just because we have a streak going, you know, and um, I think it's one of those things where we know that we can control a lot of our destiny, and we know we can control a lot on our side of the court, and I still don't even think we have scratched the surface yet of what that really looks like and what that can look like with the product out on the floor. Um, but for us, we're going to continue to take it one and all. You know, we, um, you know, I haven't really even watched our next team and, and that's okay you know we are very focused on what our job was right now um, and making sure that we are also you know a, keeping that mindset of one and all you know you can't overlook anybody you can't look past um, any team because any team in this league is good enough to beat anybody so um, I think for us like is that street great yes absolutely it's great for our program I think it's great for our fans it's great for our university um, but at the same time for us, we're going to continue to, to stay true to who we are and, and how we go about um, our mindset with each, which, with each game. Okay. All right. Thank, All right. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.